Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's put some light on the subject. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Sir Mark and here. And uh, this morning, uh, we're going to be really helping your business grow through recruiting, showing you the, the easiest way how to get uh, the youth involved in your community. It is going to be off the Richter scale, okay? Um, we're getting ready to go on a huge campaign with the youth. Huge campaign. Helping the youth make money. And that Marini, that Gary Beck just came in, the processing king of Atlanta. Yeah. Right. So we can. <laughs> yeah, the processing king of Atlanta. And we're going to pop up on the head. What's going on, man? I'm right. I'm online. I'm mm -hmm. online, baby boy. But uh, good morning. We're going to talk to this morning about uh, how to really help the youth uh, get their money. And that increase your income at the same time. It's off the chain. We're going to open the lines at 404-286-6700. That's 404-286-6700. And we're going to go ahead. Hey, I'm just making it. Here we go. So come on, give me a quick call at 404-286-6700. This is going to be a very, very good uh, broadcast. Again, it's, it's more informational than anything, but here we go. Now, the next phase of my life and my career is already set. We know what direction we're going in. My son, we know we have the, the plans. Going forward, we know exactly where we are. Uh, we're going right into the uh, school system and into the college school system. We're going in there, high school and college. I have a, a three classes tomorrow. I'm going back to back to back. The best way to really get the get the youth to understand that you're on their side is you have to talk about the past. You have to talk about yourself. If you don't share with those kids things and hardships that you went through, they're not going to connect with you. They're not going to connect with you. I'm not. Uh, I just happen to let them know that I didn't just show up one day and I ended up being 53. There were, there were definitely were some some hardships in my life, and I, I overcame them. When I began to start sharing when I was a kid, the things that got me excited about business, because the, the kids that I'm, or the young adults that I'm dealing with, they're 12th graders and college students. Now, I'm taking on some 11th graders tomorrow as well. They're going to be 11th and 12th grade students in that class, in those classes. And it's going to be a little mixed. But the reason why I go after the, the seniors in high school and the college students, because they, they can sign their own contracts. They can make their own decisions at 18. So it's really the, the number is 18, where now the young adults, and they, got, they have their own issues. They have their own issues. And what I do is I go in there and I help them solve the issue. I target the business departments. That's where I head. I go straight in. I go right in to the school. And I said, I would like to speak to the, uh, the, uh, oh, the person in charge of the business, the marketing department. Oh, yeah, okay? Yeah, you can do a little. You can still help. Oh, so that's the key. 
The key to this whole monster is to be able to communicate with the, the marketing department or the business departments and the school head. You want to talk to the, the department heads. And once you get in there, now you got to, they're going to say, why are you here? And this is where I come, the first words out of my mouth is I said, I'm a business community partner. They understand what that is. Just figure, go figure now. You're talking to the head of the business department. Somebody that's been teaching business for years and years and years. And now you go in there and you talk, you say, I want to be a business business community partner. It's off the chain. Now they're going to want to know what does that mean to you? Well, what it means to me is, is that I'm able to educate their children about grassroots economics and how to develop how to develop a cash flow so that they, these children can exist while they while they go to college. For one thing that I'm going to communicate with the kids, and I do it all the time, and I, and I talk about their experience with business and money today, and what do they think their experience is going to be when they get to college? Oh, my God. Imagine this. All you business minds out here that listen to this broadcast or ever listen to this broadcast, you're saying, when I was younger, I was a hustler. Okay, now, that's one out of so many of us now that actually grew up handling money in a business type of business mindset, right? Most children don't have a clue how to handle money and how to sell and how to and distribute. Don't have a clue. Now they go to school for business, but they never handled money before. That's a fundamental problem. And I'm going to solve it. No! That's right. I'm going to solve that problem that the young folks that really have an entrepreneurial spirit, I'm going to give them the, the same opportunities I had. Listen. I was selling when I was young. I mean, I was rejected, and the, I found out even through the rejections that these some of the most of the rejections I occur that that I experienced was uh, I turned them around. Or what I call flip them. I flipped them. Just like flip this old house, flip this car, flip this. I flip them into customers because. When you know you have a product or service that caters to the general public, you you have to know that you're going to break through that market at some point. It's, it's just a given. It's just a given. If, if you're into uh, fixing bikes, right? You're into fixing bikes. You got a youth and your family or so a friend that they put bikes together. They have this, this beautiful, I mean, blessing in their hands that they can use their hands to fix bikes, right? But let's say there's no, the, the business is not good. The business is not good with the, with the uh, fixing the bikes. We're there, right? Okay, here we go. All of a sudden, because of the marketing mind of most, the people that are really in there, says, says to the child, listen, if you, if business is not that good, business is not that good with, with uh, putting bikes together and uh, recreating these bikes, and, well, guess what? Why don't you call some bike companies, bike stores? 
So you make a connection with the bike store. And these bike stores said, man, I can use a little, what we, I'll just say mechanic. A mechanic. <laughs> so you gotta, they said they need a mechanic. So they bring a, a bike specialist in, your child or someone that you know that, that says that, and you, and you match them together. How simple is that? Right? So business is good. We start passing out flyers and business cards in the community, right? We're going to, uh, we're on the, ride our bikes on the bike trail. We're giving our business cards. People in the parks because they say, I have a bike and it needs some fixing. There we go. All right? So, talking to the psyche of a child that's, or a young adult now, you got a 16, 17, 18 year old child, 19, 20. They're young. Their mind is young. But going into the high school first, they're going to look at you like if you're going to help them make money, like a god almost. Because now, the first thing I, when I get in front of the, the kids tomorrow, I'm going to start talking about my private life when I was a child. Because now they, they see, as I grew up, what was my life like when I was in uh, middle school and high school? And what was life like when I got out of college? <laughs> and all of a sudden, the floodgates open up. As Now that I'm talking about what it was like with, with getting out of college, that's not talking about really my life schedule, how things were when I was a, adult, so I get up to 30s and 40s. And what happened? I talk about my five marriages. What's wrong with that? How to avoid getting involved like that and knowing something. <laughs> Yeah, that might be funny, right? <laughs> but I tell you what, I'm, I'm real experienced. I'm real experienced. You know, you're going to, in the high school, we deal with youth. You find out their mindset and how close their mind is to people's tragedies. And they begin to, uh, to begin to really listen a little deeper because now, you, you are talking about painful stuff. I say, I, tomorrow, they'll know about the molestation. So they're going to know about that about me. So it opens their mind to say that, how did you go through that? I'm going to talk about how my brother bullied me into uh, smoking weed, and that was took me on a path of no return. What happens when people in your life, you got a, a uncle, you know, or so-called brother or cousin in your life, and they're molesting you, raping you. You know, how do you handle that? Because we know, I know that when just dealing with the CDC, you can check the numbers. How many, how many girls and how many boys are molested in some type of molestation or rape has occurred by the time they're 15? Those are things that, you know, I talk about when, I, when I'm in a class setting, because it's very important for them to know that there's certain people, there's kids sitting in that classroom in silence. Their, 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 their pain is bottled up, that they've been molested and nobody knows about it but them and the perpetrator. And that can be very devastating to a child as they get older, that they get into this thing where nobody would listen type of deal, right? But now, this is the first phase of recruiting them. Once I got that out of the way, then I began to start talking about really getting deeper into fundraising and what it's going to be like in their career if they don't learn to handle money. So I'm going to talk to them about other, other uh, professions, okay? It's just like... Uh, Gary Bex, he's in the processing, but he's he's great at it. But how did you get great at it? You practiced, right? You, you Brian, you went out there in the field. You was practicing, yeah. practice, practice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, 
What what else have you done in your life, Gary? Uh, the reference to anything in life, life, anything in life that was worthwhile doing. Basketball, maybe. Basketball. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was you good? I was good. How did you get good? Practice. 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 Okay, let's think about some other things that you did. Let's talk about doctors. Doctors, if they're going to be a real flag brain doctor, right? Right. What are you going to have to do? Brain practice, practice, practice. Yeah. They're going to have to practice on their brain. Yeah. Practice cutting brains open. <laughs> Cut, right? Yeah. Practice. They, right. But they, when, they, when did they start with? Frogs and they start with worms, and, right? Yeah. So if you're in that craft, you're going to have to practice, right? Practice. Now, if you're in school for business, and you're sitting in school and you do a curriculum. Mm -hmm. But how do you get the practice that you need to be a full-fledged entrepreneur? You got to practice. Absolutely. You got to have a way to, 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 to work with products and service. Either they're going to get a job out of in school or somebody going to come along and show you how to practice taking money from people. <laughs> That's, right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. We have put our children in America in a bind because we don't have enough programming, right, or products and services to get the children to stop practicing. So, this is where I come in. I'm going to teach your children. How to practice. I'm on private label. I, I'm going into the school tomorrow. And I'm, when I leave, I'm telling them kids, listen, I have products. There's products out here in the world. They only know what I'm talking about because phase three or four is now talking about money. I'm not talking about money, product, service in the first half hour. It's all personal and why you can't make no money and why you're not making no money. And, the reasons, right? Then, I, then I'm going to be talking about there's so many other things that's under your nose that can make you money so you can practice taking people money from your friends, from your family, from your neighbors. You're, you're practicing taking money from them. And this stuff is right under your nose. Now, at some point, them kids, I said, what is it? Tell me something that I can make this money that you're talking about, right? right. I said, it's under your nose. <laughs> All you got to do is submit it. <laughs> right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to private label for you. We'll show you how to buy the product at a low price and we'll put your name and your image on it. Right, Mark? You got it? Gary can testify to that. It's the best <laughs> thing in the world. Oh, absolutely. Branding and marketing. That's right. Put your name out there. Tomorrow, and especially Saturday, from 10 to 12, you have a youth, a young adult in your family, even you. You will, I'm going to show you some tricks of the trade, baby. From now on, it's straight get it, get it. Okay? This is the deal. The children, we got oils that we, we got so far away from the oils. But what we're going to do, every child that I talk to will start their own business, they're going to be able to buy the minimum is a dozen roll-ons for me. We're going to print their name on the label. And they're going to be able to put it on the label and go out there and practice practice taking people's money. The, the, the another system that I'm going to use, one other system, is that I'm going to show the child, those young adults, how to come into to this, this company, put their name in our system as a distributor. When they push people to buy products in, from our, our store, and they come in they are automatically put under the, the child's, uh, uh, the young adult's name. So the, the customers come in and say, hey, this is from uh, uh, 
that Mr. Gary Beck sent me, even if it's not job, Mr. Gary Beck sent me. Okay, what is your name? So I put your name under Gary Beck's name. So every time that person orders product, Mr. Beck, I give you 10% of everything that they buy. Really? Just like that, at the end of the month, we give you a progress report of any, all the customers you sent to buy the toilet paper, laundry detergent, body oils, they're in the system. Here's your 10%. They did $20,000 over the last six months. Here's a check for $2,000. Wow. That's, that's <laughs> These awesome. kids are off in college. They're sending people, the people are calling. Here, the order, and the order under their name, I'm sending a check to the students while they're in college. Studying. Wow. Every month I send them 10% check, residual income check every single month. That's great. You tell me I'm not on it, doggone it. You're on it, doggone it. God <laughs> is awesome. And you know what I'm talking about? God is awesome with a capital A baby. He'll take a, a, a no good rotten dog like me and turn me into somebody. You heard me? God has his way. Well, you've been raised a certain way, and God come in and put his hands on you and give you freedom. Now to go out and help these kids and help these babies with their wisdom that they're going to need. My biggest thing right now when I'm talking to my kids, I'm talking to my son, any of my children, my daughters, I tell them, use your brains. Think. Create for others. How are you going to win without creating for others? It's impossible. Listen, what, one of the things that I teach these children, and I'm going to echo it because I'm going on tour. I might even be touring on the college near you on your campus. Letting these kids know that you have to think to use your brains. You don't own anything. Let me tell you something. I'll prove it to you right now. In the name of Jesus, I'll prove it to you. Gary Bex, I'm going to talk to you. Sure. Tell me one thing in this lifetime that you created on your own. It was something that you manufactured. You had the raw materials. You just brought it all in and you invented it. It was all it's all yours. Hmm. Well. I'm listening. That's a very good question. I'm listening. Know you know what you did. No, you ain't right? gonna be able to answer. You know why? Right. Because everything that you do and you do great at all you've done is made it better. You took every product, every service, everything right. that you did, you created nothing. All you do is you, you're just a glorified sales guy. Right. You're glorified distributor of other people's products. And that's all we do our rest of our lives. That's it. That's it. That's all we do. We find a product or a service and we market it. For the we never went out and went in the ground, dug up the dirt, bit that thing to go. You're right. <laughs> now that I think about it, you are right. We just took advantage of other people's products and made it better. That's all we're doing our whole life. And made it our own. And made it our own. We branded it. That's correct. And said, I'm the one you want to buy it from. I know you get it from Carb Gas. Yeah. But I got another little way that you can get some. From Charter. From yeah. Charter. That's correct. Right. Yep. See, the, the Carb Gas don't own all the, the lines. Yeah, Com uh, Charter don't own all the lines. Right. AT&T don't own all the lines. What, if you're going to make some money off AT, uh, Charter, at and and all them Comcast, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be, uh, 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 promoting, baby. You're going to be promoting their company. That's the only way you're going to make some money with them. Hey, did you know that Charter is the best like, <laughs> thing to get? You know, they're pitching somebody else's product like you, like you, de like you develop Charter. Basically, but you yeah. got to do it like that. Like, you're the king of charter. Well, basically, that's what you're doing. That's Nobody what knows charter better than me. <laughs> if you don't use Comcast, call me. Now, Comcast got a bunch of people that, that know I'm nothing. 
I'm a piece of dust to them. But I'm promoting their product. I'm a king to them too, right? That's correct. If I become the number one salesperson, that, but I have to practice at it. And that's the big, big, big to do about this. I'm teaching my children that you're just going to be marketing other people's products and services. The only thing that you can do with that is make it better. That's all you can do. I don't, I don't make the oils. I make the oils better. That's all. I don't make the roll-out bottle. I just make it better. I give it, I give it some value. All I'm doing is going into now into the school system, and I'm gonna educate these children. I don't know. I ain't the first one that ever went in there and talked to the the kids about uh, marketing and distribution, but I will say this: I will venture out to say that I'm one of the only companies that are going to be teaching other companies like yours how to educate your the youth and how to distribute for them so they can make some money. If there was another entity out here that helps the youth make money hand over fist, I want to know them. Gary Beck, I want to ask you a question. Yes, sir. What company right now you know helps the youth and that's all they do is help these kids get through college and got their own money and everything. The major company in America that's doing that right now that's helping the teenagers make money and get, get through school. It's self-sufficient. Tell me what company's doing it. I can't really think of one, but I know there's probably one out there. There's one out there. Who are they? Because I don't know. Well, I think you're doing it. I'm doing it. I'm giving I'm oh. doing it. The deal is, who else is out there? Teaching the youth life skills and how to make money right now. I'll give you ten percent of everything you said. Just send people to me, and every time they mention your name, I'll give you ten percent of everything they would buy. Like for me, for me, like nobody, nobody uh, but multi-level marketing. No, they're not, they're not in the schools teaching the young folks that. But they'll definitely recruit them, though. They'll recruit when they come out. <laughs> yeah. But but the system, of, that's another system. Mm -hmm. That's a multi-level marketing system. Right, right. Where our kids are going to gain ground is do direct distribution. Direct distribution, hand-to-hand -hand combat. I will teach this system to the day I die. I love the children. And I love the youth. And I will be doing this for the rest of my life. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to comment. And don't forget to follow. Okay? Go on our like page. Heavenly Body Products. Go ahead and like us. Do your thing there. Don't forget this Saturday. Be here early. We're going to be here from 10 to 12. Be here a little early. Get your seat. Get you something to eat. And get ready for a mind-blowing experience. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be talking more about the youth because I'm going into a school. Hopefully Rory Edward, Rory T. Edwards will be here. So we'll definitely see you tomorrow morning at 8. And we're going to probably do about an hour if Rory's going to be on. But definitely I'll see you Saturday. God bless you. Pay-per-view. Don't forget pay-per-view. Talk to you later. Only $10 for greatness.